Hey everyone, Doug here with BNH. We are back for NAB 2022. This is my second day at least. And I'm here with Alex, who's with Small Rig here actually, right at the BNH booth. And they've got a bunch of products. I mean, Small Rig has so many products actually yeah. overall. Uh, but what are you really highlighting today? Well, I think, well, obviously we've got a bunch of products we'd like to show people, but one of the things I personally would like to, to, to get out is, is kind of that they're getting into lighting as well. And, and real competitive as far as price point, real powerful, real durable. From what I can see, I am actually a lighting guy. That's what I usually do. Yeah, I'm usually nice. a rep. So, like I like I would use the Aperture MCs, and now we've got the RM75, which is their equivalent. Uh, it's it's amazing. Same thing as that. It just also has more more magnetism to it. So instead of just being able to magnetize to the back, you can also magnetize to the side. This way, oh, wow. this okay. way. That's pretty great. So also same thing with the MCs. You can do app controlled. You can do photo matching of colors, right, right. etc. And then they've got these more traditional lights, kind of similar to what the the you know aperture and things like that are going towards leds mm -hmm. it's got the same modifiers the same bowens mouse that you can use for say the aperture equipment so if you right. need soft boxes if you need vertical soft boxes lanterns things like that it'll 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 mount right up just like this way just like most anything else would. oh cool then, nice yeah and this re this reflector in particular is is a heck of a good does a heck of a good job of boosting the output i mean it's, yeah, I can see and it over this is there. only on two percent. So I mean, this is, it's it's almost. Mind if I bump it up a little? Yeah, no, go for it. Yeah, go yeah. for it. I mean, and you're, I I was gonna say you're getting into HMI territory, but yeah, you're, you're, wow. you're already okay. there. I mean, if you <laughs> if you put the Leco front end on this, you've got an 800 Joker, or maybe even at a tw at a, a 1200 output. This is the daylight one. They have a bicolor one as well, and and for the price, this is this blows everything else out of the I mean that's a lot of power. What kind of um, yeah. like color customization or features? I see FX over there. Yes, they do. It does it. Uh, I think it does nine or ten on this one, something like that. But these aren't RGB, but they do like. You can see me a little bright here. They do like paparazzi effects, fireworks, and all the other things, you know. So these again, this is daylight. That's by color. The puck lights RGB. So, oh, okay. So that you can do any color you want. So let me just bring this back. Down. So that that you can do uh, any color you want. And again, you can do you can do photo matching, which is really really cool. Right, you right, know, right. I can take a photo of this orange, and boom, it'll get the you know. So if you're trying to match a background, or you're trying to match something, it's it's a great feature. But, the customization of LEDs is just beyond anything oh, I imagined amazing. like years ago. Yeah. It's. And when and when all yeah. these, when we when they started going LED, I mean, all the guys were sitting there complaining. Oh well, well now we're not going to have to run big power. Now there's going to be <laughs> there's going to be less people working. Why is that a either. problem? And it's like, well, they, they it would be they thought it'd be less work, but it's no. Hold on, we're just going to put up more lights. Yeah. So so if yeah. we're not sitting there wasting our time yeah. running four out all day long, we're putting up more lights and, and allowing ourselves to be more artistic. So it's, Absolutely. It's yeah. Great. Yeah. And some of these now, I mean these. We're not here necessarily in small rig, but they're getting to the point where there's there's water cooled LEDs that are thousands of watt. You know what I mean? Right, so right, right, huge. right, right. And once you start getting like this has a CRI of ninety of over ninety six, ninety six and above, which is fantastic. Yeah, definitely. You know, in the past, with a lot of these, you get a magenta or a green shift or whatever. Not, with not these, anymore. Not with these. But as far as how this is built and the, the durability that I can perceive this having. having I think this is going nice. to take over, you know, because this, it's solid, it's also light, you don't have a separate power supply. I mean, you have your voltage regulator, but it's all on the unit, and you can control it with an app, and it's, it's, it's great. That's awesome. And, and all of the, and all of the, all the, the accessories and modifiers mix and match, and you can put, if you're stuck with just an aperture lantern, you can put that on. But you should get one from Small Rig, because it's probably a little less expensive. <laughs> anyway, so. Now, is there, um... Is this like the start of something? Is this is this going to become a line? Do you know? I, yeah, I hope so. I mean, they, they started out with the 120s, they're a little less powerful. These are the 220s. Right. And, and then I, I believe I've heard inklings of going up to fives and six, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm sure it'll keep going. Cool. Like like they'll have the, the, the 600D equivalent and the et cetera, et cetera. So. Cool. No, I mean, and I would hope that they keep going. I'm I mean, excited to see more. Yeah, 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 me yeah too. nice. I'm excited to actually start working with these in the field. Right. Because to me look right. like it would just be a little bit more user friendly and, uh, 
and you could probably afford a couple more, you know? So yeah. that's nice. And you shape them the way you want, and you've got a great looking set. Yeah, it's all, I mean, cool. it, and it is, it's about the modifier. You know? Exactly, if, if the exactly. Is okay, and you can get a proper modifier, and you know what to do with it, then there you go. Yeah, perfect. So, well, that's, that's awesome. So thank you for showing yeah, me. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, we'll be back with more NAB 2022 coverage. Yeah.